What up? Welcome to another pick comparison. Uh, today we got three new picks that arrived, and we're going to be comparing them to my current favorite, which is the Altex Jazz Free XL. Um, we're in dual dark on channel B, and the shape control looks kind of like that. Um, I'm just gonna play for Jazz Free XL for a bit, get acclimatized, and we'll try out something new. <laughs> Okay, um, so first of all, let's play the Dunlop Tortex Flex. This is a 0.88, which is the green one. Uh, I've never actually tried Tortex Flex, so I have some regular Tortex here to compare the flexiness. It doesn't actually feel any more bendy. Feels maybe a bit softer on the strings. It's got a bit less clack. Um, yeah, let's see what it's like. Ooh, already that's got a really nice attack to it. I like that a lot. That's excellent. I might prefer that too. I think I prefer that to the Altex XL, you know. I think that's better. Um, my next pick I've dropped on the floor. Give me a sec to pick it up. Next we have a Altex 0.60. This is not a sharp, it's just a regular 0.1, uh, which I've never tried before. It is very bendy and very snappy. So let's see how this goes. Um, usually I prefer pointed fix, but I'm kind of open to new things at the moment. So let's give this a go. Oh, already there's no meat on that. Listen, it's just, it's all slapped from a pit. Yeah, there's no meat on the down picks. It's not bad for leaves, but even when you dig in, like it doesn't do it. Like even if I squeeze hard, the pick just kind of bends in my fingers. You can't dig in, and I really like that texture at the end to kind of. It doesn't do the thing. Um, it goes through the strings really nicely.
It doesn't always nitpick very well. It's messy. You have to work really hard at that because the tip's just kind of all over the place. Um, not a big fan, it's probably nice for chords. Um, will this sound get clean? It will get clean. Yeah, see, I'm picking as hard as I can and the strings don't even bend out of tune. Also, um, I have just snapped the tip off very slightly as I chip in it. I don't know if you can see, but um, yeah. <laughs> Next, we have the Prime Grip Derelin 2.0. So it's a thick one. Um, I quite like the Derelin, I think it was a 1.14, the pink one, um, but without the grip. I quite liked that. Had a creamy kind of feel to it, so we're going to try this one. Already, that's a beefy downgrade. It's got a very kind of commanding attack. Doesn't quite have the snap like the Tortex one. Doesn't do the thing. nice. The tip's a bit too round for kind of shred lead. I feel a bit like I'm playing in kind of custard there. Does it do the loop? Yeah, you have to move the pick a long way. Was with a old text jazz for you. Uh, tall text, sorry. Way cleaner. doesn't quite flow, you have to work really hard getting it to, like it goes through strings easy, but because it's so wide, you have to work a lot to get it to like pick cleanly. <laughs> I'm working really hard there, but with this one. Excuse the bad playing, but yeah, this one um, plays really nice. So first impressions, Tortex Flex, brilliant. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with these for a while. I think that might be my new favorite pick, but I'll play it a couple days off camera, dropped it. Um, Dunlop Altex. Um, this is a really thin one. I'd be curious to try some thicker ones because uh, I like the sharps, but um, I did snap this and it's not really meant for kind of shred lead. Um, and the Prime Grip Derelin 2.0, 
it's really nice. I like the way it sounds. It's very warm and it's very commanding, um, but it's not super precise. If I was a rhythm player, this would be sick, but um, for shred leaves, it's a bit, it's kind of, it's kind of um, a hammer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a fan. I really like, I really, really like that Tortex one. Um, I have some more picks on the way and um, we can also go back through my collection. I have um, two like, Leave to Tupperware boxes full of picks, like completely full. So uh, we can try some of those out. But yeah, cheers for watching. Subscribe. Um, if you want lessons, then my Patreon, um, like a small donation, will get you into my Patreon. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Peter Wickens, same name as the channel. Um, but yeah, sweet. Have a good day.